Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on what time zone you're in or what time you watch this video. Today we're back with Pentatonix really quickly because I, like I said last time, I love Havana, the song, and I could not wait to hear what they did with it. So, without further ado, love you all. Let's jump right in, shall we? Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, the bass. Oh, that Mitch just sounds so perfect. There's this ease he's got. Oh. Oh. Took me back to East Atlanta. Na, na, na. Oh man, this I'm sounds sultry. Atlanta. There's something about his manners. Oh, oh I love that. Man. He didn't walk up with that. How you doing? Oh, when he came in, he said, There's a lot of girls I can do with. Oh, oh but I can't wait. I'm doing forever in a minute. That's a minute. And Papa says he got my love in him. He got me feeling like. So clean. I loved him when I left him. Bro, the switch up on the bass line too. Oh. Okay, no, hang on. I want to. Oh my god, I'm gonna forget all the cool things we've seen so far if I don't pause. I'm so sorry, but wow, wow. Okay, so one, Mitch's vocalization is so perfect on this one, and I love it. I also really like that Kirsten get, uh, gets that kind of like center stage here, and she's killing it. Like, the vibe of this song feels different from the original song. In the original, it's like you're being approached right by someone and you're like talking about that person as they're like coming up to you. And there's almost like a sense of innocence or naivety, but it's still the, the desire. But here it's like, you're the one who is pursuing the person. And it's almost like we get a switch up of what it would be like to be the person doing the approaching, which is such a nice flip with the baseline. It keeps changing throughout the song and it fits it so perfectly. Like when we got into kind of like the, as we're going through the main portion, like the the verse of the song, there's like a lot of a lot of bass, but it kind of falls out a little bit during the chorus at times, just to give that emphasis to the voices and the harmonies. Which I don't know what that sound is that Kevin's making, but it's like a whoosh, like I can't make it because I'm not him. But like it's in the background, listen for it, and it just adds so much texture to the song, and I love that so much. And then Scott, man. Scott just sounds so sultry, and even Kirsty does. Like she, she also has that sultriness to her. But it was like as soon as he started talking, there was like so much swagger. He's like a little, almost like he's leaned back, knowing just how, oh man, how good this approach is gonna go. And it's so solid. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. And this was fantastic. Their harmonizing there was on point. I love his sweater too, Scott's. No, don't stop. Don't stop. No. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, that. Oh, it's so clean. I don't even mind. I, I love that they're. Oh. Okay, well, so, I mean, the trumpets, that felt like Havana Nights, you know, like you're dancing the night away to the sounds of musical trumpets in the background carrying the energy of this song. That just continues to impress is the way that we'll talk. We'll just, we'll just say it continues to impress because that's always solid. Also, now that I've actually paid more attention to it, all their outfits look pretty fire. Um, but wow, this was such a, I love, I love the vibe of this song. Like we've talked about before, they take the song and do an homage to the original, but it has a twist on it that gives it a new life. And here the twist is, it feels more like swaggery, like they're carrying the, the pursuit of the person as opposed to being the one being approached and and that's such a like a, such a clever spin on the song and it really 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 gives it this like i don't know almost like it gives you a confidence as you listen to it and that's so solid and that's that's music that is to kill for isn't it oh that is so good ah you guys are right like new pentatonics has this like they've come into their voices they understand music to this, like, nth degree, or especially when it comes to composing, like, a cappella. To the point that, like, when we're listening to this, truly, if you showed these songs to someone, there's very little likelihood, if they had ne if they had never heard of Pentatonix, right, and they just listened, they would probably assume it's actual instrumentals, the layering is all, like, production-level quality, like, in the back room, they're working on all the sounds, but it's not. It's not that at all. It's just, it's just pentatonics, five sounds, and each person brings their own liveliness to this track. Especially, you can hear it in the harmonies. The way it kind of like they all ravel together, but yet you like you still hear each individual quality, which is so hard to nail. But they do it effortlessly, and they do it every time. Damn, that was solid. That was solid. I was really looking forward to this song and well worth the wait oh man okay i hope that you enjoyed too uh i hope that your week is better than your day your month is better than your week and your year is better than your month love you all and i will see you on the next one